how to perform a short circuit analysis if you're yet to subscribe smash that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video also share to your friends now before we start on how to perform a short circuit analysis i would like to define some electrical terms such as a circuit an electrical circuit is simply a closed path by which electricity flows then what is short circuit a short circuit is an abnormal condition in an electrical circuit in which the electrical current flows through an unintended shorter pathway instead of following the circuit. The longer pathway for electricity to flow back to the ground is by flowing through the circuit. But when a shorter path is introduced, electricity naturally seeks this route, which is the part of least, impede, least resistance and changes its course to head to ground by this shorter and easier path. So that is simply short circuit. Now, short circuit analysis is the study which determines fault currents and automatically compare these values against manufacturer short circuit current ratings. Overstress devices alarms Overstress device alarms are displayed after running the analysis. Now, what are short circuit currents? Short circuit current, in, in short, in a simple way, they are simply fault currents. So, they are currents that introduce large amount of destructive energy in the forms of heat and magnetic force into a power system. Now, why do we perform a short circuit study or a short circuit analysis? The short circuit analysis is used to calculate the amount of fault current contributing to specific locations in the network. It is used to check if there is fault current contribution to specific locations in the network based on the system configurations. Now, remember, I have taught on configurations in one of my previous lessons. It is also used to de determine the device capabilities to see if they will stand against the fault current. It is also used to evaluate voltage levels in the overall system for faults in specific locations. Now, let's go into it up now. Short circuit analysis. How to perform the short circuit analysis? If you click this, <coughs> this is the error message you see. No bus is faulted. Why is that? You have to fault buses in order to see the false current <coughs> sorry flowing through them the false current flowing through them so how to fault a bus for the purpose of this lesson i won't fault all the buses i only fault bus one two three four five and six so open the study case and just select one to six oh, sorry And then click forward enter they automatically turn red showing that they are faulted already now we can run the three phase and we are seeing the fault current at each bus <coughs> sorry now remember i said we can use it to calculate the fault current contributing to specific locations now this is the fault current at each bus we can also use to check the false current based on system configurations. Now, bus 1, 17.512. Let's go to another configuration, T2 down. Sorry. T2 down. Let me open this. Seventeen point five one two. remember? Now it's 17.092. So you can check the fault current for different configurations which have already been designed by you in the network or from the existing network. <coughs> Sorry. Now it can also be used to determine the voltage levels in the overall system. How do we do that? Standard and Let's go to IEC standard so I can run the max. Okay, so now we run the line to line, line to ground, double line to ground, three phase faults. We can see the voltage levels. 
So, Cobos 1, you can see that's a voltage of 24.85 kilovolts for maximum and 13.133 kilograms for the first current. Same thing for both two, 8.52 kilovolts and 16.929 kilograms. Now, we can see for all the buses we ported. Now, I'm going to be having a master class for ITER. And what I'll be covering is load flow analysis, load flow analysis calculation by hand and comparison to results generated by ITER. Voltage improvement using transformer type changing and capacitor banks. Power factor correction, power loss minimization, short circuit analysis, sizing of protective devices, which are your switch gears. Then optimal capacitor placement. Then protection and coordination using relays. After all this, we will then explore other modes of ETAP and begin to work on electrical networks for the perfection of the skills attained. The class will begin on the 15th of March and to enroll, send a private message to me and you will be added up. You can drop a comment below to be added. The benefits of this lesson, the benefits of this lesson is that you have free assistance on projects for students who are working on their projects. I'll also be giving the software free to those that are yet to get it. And then you also have access to multiple real-time electrical networks with field data for study purposes. Now the price for this lesson, which is going to be a two-month master class, is just $100 for each person. Very cheap compared to everything I'm going to teach you. So if you're interested, drop a comment below and i'm gonna reach out to you don't forget to smash that subscribe button see you in our next video thank you